Hello, my people. It's the tree. Listen, a lot of you people are writing me letters, you know, and, and are afraid and worried about what's going to happen and saying, oh, this is it. It's time. All the bad stuff is going to happen. But <clears throat> listen to me. Strong enough feeling behind thought projection creates reality. And if you have fear, <clears throat> for instance, like when the reptilians do the ritual sacrifices, they torture and still terror and fear in their victims for a long period of time before they kill them because there's something that comes, it makes huge gaps in their aura so that they can suck out, you know, the, the precious energy. And, um, the, the fear alone, okay, can literally manifest your fears into your reality. So what you're afraid of, know that that doesn't have to happen. Know that um, right now, our future is what we make it. Know that you will not die if you choose to stay and protect creation and each other in this world and partake in, the, you know, um, getting us through this and rebuilding our paradise here. And know that, um, and you also, um, with love in your heart and stuff, you know, your your abilities will soon be activated, your ESP, your healing powers. And like I said, once we get our ESP back, then we'll be able to get the house again because we have a more hard time to be able to stop it. Um, well, the thing is, though, is we're going to need to join together. We're going to need to come together like a family. You know, all of us are together in order to create enough energy and energy field of um, love, you know, to come, you know, to be a family, to come together and consciously, you know, say, okay, yes, we're part of this family, like, okay, there's only one I can make amazing, there's only one I treat, which is not me, you know, this is a family, you know, and then, um, once we start coming together like that, then we will activate our energies in each other, and then our, each other, and ourselves and each other, our human powers and ESP and our extrasensory perception and our abilities will all begin to um, be activated and grow and develop, um, you know, by us being together, and whether we're physically together or not, spiritually, mentally, consciously together, and our minds, you know, made this decision, yes, we are family. Um, and also, once it's doing that, we will create an energy field in our own, like a bubble around us, like a protected soap bubble, with all kinds of colors and sound and music and beauty, and it's just the most warm, beautiful feeling, and just pure ecstasy, um, you know, the mystical, you know, we've been mystified by, we've become mystified by your own reflection in the mirror and say, well, you know, look at yourself and your world, wow, you really are awesome creation, but we will not let any scientists turn into anything else. Humans are a creation, and they're not protecting the human race, and the reptilians, believe it or not, they're going to be probably our biggest ally right now against the humans, um, because the reptilians, they have been so many humans are finally developing human fans and abilities. And like I said, Drake and Drake, um, and uh, Queen Elizabeth's ambassador, you know, the one that uh, Queen Elizabeth killed with her mom, he, he, um, died literally and was, um, tortured and, and hurt and, and everything and eventually killed because he chose to protect the moon. And so taking his orders, they were in the society, which was to do mind control and brainwashing and chip me and do, you know, whatever. And that's what they do, and they do that. He's a reptilian. Um, Panda, you know, being kind of stuck in my ear right now, but still he's going to be all right, but now he's sitting in my body, looking out through my eyes and hands through my ears without being able to do anything except sit and watch and experience being human, you know, and I'm so, <clears throat> and he was the first, well, he was the father of all the Metroidians, over all of them, he was the first one, and, <clears throat> so therefore, but he experiences and feels a love and emotions and everything like through living through me, you know, and experiencing my love for you, and then to help actually, you know, his heart chakras, which will also, um, uh, be felt by the other reptilians, who will also start to evolve and feel those emotions, and, um, 
you know, the sea is quite the bad place just in front of you, like, and these are trains, you know, like, they, when they hide better and have the human bodies for so long, whether they want to or not, they have experienced human emotions, and they are truly informed, they can be hurt, but they don't hurt, like a snake that can crawl up on here and blow itself up, and not look good, try to be warm, and otherwise it's very messed up, but whatever biology makes us maybe be hurt, but can't feel the pain like we do, so they do not have a way of understanding that. So at the time when they were doing all this painful stuff to us, they never comprehended what we were feeling because they never had those blood feelings themselves. But after having the human bodies for so long, now they have experienced pain, pain physical pain, pain emotions, and love, and then and they to experience the human emotion and, and better understanding what it means and feels to be loved. You know, and one reason why a lot of them are celebrating is because they're hated by most humans or fear. And so in order for them to their hearts to fully activate, they will need to feel the forgiveness, forgiveness and love from us humans. So if they can be able to feel that, understand that, and then evolve, and then um, not have to hijack their height in the aura and the human body, but be able to naturally appear in their own reptilian skin and stuff. And, um, you know, the, the energies that we create, you know, we're, we're literally, um, the energies that we create by coming together like that, we literally create an energy field that the other people in the world, even the mean ones and stuff, will start to feel. You know, because a lot of these people think they're always meaning for things. You know, but their mother was doing crack when they were pregnant or drinking alcohol or they were having cigarettes when they were babies or molested, you know, even when they were children are molested or raped. Um, or, or they were um, left in dirty diapers, you know, and they would cry and they would pick them up, you know, or, or, you know, lots of horrible things, you know, and it's just, it, it happens more often than you realize. Even that syndrome, you know what that is? It's because their parents don't hold their child enough, literally. They used to do experiments back in the 50s, hundreds of children, which they would take one baby and they would leave one baby and they would feed it and change it, but they would never hold it, talk to it, nothing, and they would just feed it and change it. And they would never give it any love or any emotion and just never, never hold it or anything. And then the other baby would win, but every single time the baby that they never held, when I talk to the baby, we can emotional enough to die in every single case. So, you know, if it does send a man, um, you know, not being out or not being loved enough, then it's very important to love and to love, you know, but know this, though, you guys, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. If your heart is good and you have made a conscious decision to, um, take care of creation and protect each other and yourself and this world and participate in the healing, the love and survival of this world and creation, then you will be able to be protected with um once you make the conscious decision to stay, literally you know, like a good stage on creator of creating powers of your make this conscious decision to stay and to use my abilities um to protect and take care of this world and each other in creation and once you do that then you will be able to be more um, able to start receiving your prayer gifts um and if I could ever get any greater help go be to this fully for a good fast and I could get pure enough to open up and call my divine medical code so I could infuse you know once I can act in Activate, you know, the sacred feminine within myself because I will be able to do that and choose that in you. We don't have to, it doesn't have to be a slow process. We can speak things up in other words. Um, you know, um, so everything's going to be alright, okay? And the new things and stuff, you know, over like, for instance, people right now that are hurting and stuff and being tortured and stuff, it's a bad part of karma that's going to start. It's not going to take lifetimes anymore for your karma to catch up with you. So in this life, anything you do to you feel or mean to anybody, it won't take lifetimes anymore to come back. It will come back and smack you in the face in this life. And the rest of us will not have to get blood on our boots or do anything, you know, because to go after them with words or hurt anybody or make their karma for ourselves, basically, if they don't karma, we'll put them out. 
to stop saying that people have to do it and always keep it in their head or because of their fear of death in their heart, will literally um, be destroyed by their own karma. Seriously. And those of you who may have some past life karma bad things that you did in the past, um, you know, in your heart, you know, you know, consciously realize and be sorry for what you did and realize and say you're sorry and know that you're really wrong. And even if you can't physically apologize to people that you hurt, you know, if you can, that's good. But if you can't, you know, in your heart, just, you know, if you're sorry, you know, and, and be sorry, don't just say it, but mean it. You know, and be able to clear your karma up that way so that it keeps smacking you in the head. I love you guys, I love you all the most people do that all the time. I promise you. Thank you.